I've, I've had a number of friends and, and some colleagues come to me and tell me, you got to stop this. You look like hell. Your health is going. Uh, you don't have time for all your other duties. Uh, you're getting behind on things. And this is going to kill you. You need to get out of it. And uh, there's nothing there that's not true. When one of these wolf incidents heats up, and, and we have them pretty much all summer in recent years, it's, it's gone from the middle of July until October, November, where we're having conflicts. And on those days, um, when that blows up, my phone starts ringing at 7 a.m. And usually isn't done till past midnight. Um, there's usually two or three more on the line, and, and it's, it's pretty intense. You're talking to people that are afraid for their animals. Uh, they're losing everything and it's, it's incredibly intense. And then you're also talking to Department of Fish and Wildlife people trying to get, uh, make sure things are, are moving, things are happening. And, and it's, um, it's, it's an intense time of the year. The flip side of that is I, I also have friends and neighbors uh, coming by my house or calling that are on the verge of losing anything. Some of these are fourth generation ranchers. Um, their families have been there for 150 years, some of them. Um, there's also others. One, one kid that I partly raised him, um, you know, we've got an aging ranching population, not many young people getting into it. And he's 27 years old. He has rolled the dice. He's mortgaged himself to the hilt and he's put together a herd of cows and he's trying to make a go of it. And he's teetering on the edge of bankruptcy right now. When I hear those people and I look in their eyes, I can't stop working on this, and I won't. Uh, most frustrating thing I've ever worked on times 10. Um, you know, you've got the extremes bunkered in, and, and they profit by throwing hand grenades, and that's been most of the story. Um, you know, I, I guess I'm hopeful that, that we can get the real story out, that there is people working hard on this that are all given a little bit, uh, trying to find a middle ground that, that we can reach the, you know, the stated goal, which is a sustainable population of wolves and a thriving ranching and rural communities. Um, you know, we, we lose a lot out of not just the ranching end of things, but our whole economy and culture is based on that and it's not something I want to give up.